Hey Prism Admins, welcome to our quick walkthrough video showcasing GraphPad's administrator portal for your group subscription. We'll start with the tour of the dashboard, and then we'll see how easy it is to distribute and or install Prism for your users. We'll look at how to manage activations, add alternate admins, and finally, how to purchase more activations for your subscription if needed. Okay, so this is the My Account dashboard. The subscription name, ID, and expiration date can be found in this drop-down menu. If you would like to view usage from expired subscriptions, or if you have more than one subscription, you can select it here. The dashboard also has basic information about your group subscription. In this example, we can see that the subscription has five activations and four remaining suites available, which means that 20% of the activations have been used. From here, you can access install, activations, group profile, and purchase activations. First, let's check out the install page. There are three ways to install Prism, and you can decide which option is best for your group. If your users have admin rights and you want to let them activate on their own, you can use option A to send them an email containing all the information they need so they can install Prism. If your users don't have admin rights on their machines, you may choose to install Prism for them by following option B. If you have a large number of users and you don't want them to worry about activating Prism on their own, you can use the MSI installer. Learn more about that at our IT guide down here. Also, I want to mention that it's fine to use a combination of these methods, whatever works best for your group. For now though, let's go to option A. Clicking Authorize Users opens a dialog where we can add the email addresses of people we want to allow to install and activate Prism under your group license. You can also edit the email template as needed, but I'm pretty happy with it, so we'll just go ahead and click Authorize. Now the user's email shows up under allowed users and we can remove them if needed. Okay, uh, and once they install and activate Prism, they'll show up on the activations page. Let's go check that out. Here we can see all the computers on which Prism has been activated. We can edit a computer name if needed and even deactivate any machine that's been permanently removed from service so we can use the activation on a different computer. We just click deactivate And that's it. We freed up John's activation to be used on his new machine. Let's go back to the dashboard. Are there others who'll be helping you manage the license? If so, you can add alternate admins under group profile. Let's add Fred as an alternate admin. And there he is. Now all Fred has to do to access the dashboard is to set up his own account and password at graphpad.com slash my account. Okay, and over here you can also edit the billing and tech contact information. These people will be copied when we contact you with a reminder about renewal. I think we're all set here though, so let's go back to the dashboard. Prism group subscriptions are flexible. You can easily add seats to accommodate a growing group. We simply prorate the cost for the remaining time in your current license. If you reach the next pricing tier, your add-on order will reflect that new tier's volume price break. This add-on ability allows you to start low and increase your license if needed. So that was a quick tour of our admin interface for group subscriptions, just to give you an idea of its advantages over managing individual licenses. Thanks for watching.